Fruit salad, yummy, yummy. Fruit salad, yummy, yummy. Do you guys remember how big of a bop this was? This song made me find my undying love for strawberries. Let's make some fruit salad today. Oh, oh, oh. It's fun to do, it's a healthy way. Oh, oh, oh. Take all the fruit that as much as I love strawberries though, I don't want my legs to look like them. So not cute. feel about this little background set up in a corner as opposed to right on my vanity. I like it better because you don't have a reflection of the light, but now you have a reflection of me. So if that's distraction, if that's distracting, let me know. But today's video is going to be all about strawberry legs. What they are, why you have them, and how to get rid of them. I have always had strawberry legs and I didn't realize it it was a thing, I just thought I was kind of weird. I just figured because I am hashtag team light skin and I have dark hair that there was no way of getting rid of the little dots or freckles on my leg. I didn't realize that it was a thing until I actually saw some articles on it and then I started seeing YouTube videos pop up about people ranting about having strawberry legs and I was like, that's me. So I figured I would try out different hacks that have been all over the internet until I found the ones that work. Like for example, I tried one with baking soda and I would like scrub my legs with baking soda and some people say it works but honestly I did not see a difference. I just felt like it was more of a mess than anything else. So these hacks that I'm going to be giving to you guys are things that have worked for me and it's something that you have to maintain because I have learned that if you don't continuously do these things, then your strawberry legs will return. I don't know, I guess I'm gonna have to do a close up because I'm trying to lift my leg and I'm forgetting that I'm not flexible or tall. I did all of these hacks on the back of my leg just so I can see if it worked. So you can kind of see like a before and after from the front of my leg versus the back of my leg. But again, these are just things that worked for me. And if you guys have any hacks that I don't mention in this video that you follow if you suffer from strawberry legs, then let me know in the comments down below. But honestly, this isn't something that anybody should feel self-conscious about. It's nice to have like smooth, freckleless skin, but at the same time, who cares? If someone doesn't like you or your freckles or the freckles on your legs or what have you, screw them. So this video is just something to help you guys out if you feel the need to do it, but don't do it because you think you should. I'm gonna stop rambling. I feel like I'm getting into that preacher mode, so let me step off my soapbox and get into these tips and tricks. Before we can figure out steps to fix anything, we have to figure out what are strawberry legs, also known as keratosis pilaris, which are basically clogged pores or comedones on the leg surface, clogged by hairs, dead skin cells, and other gunky stuff. Strawberries are fun, but we don't want our legs to look like them. And when you have things like keratosis pilaris, your legs start to look like this, where you have little clogged pores on your legs that kind of look like freckles or look like blackheads. And it looks like strawberries are just milly rocking all over your legs. But it's not impossible to have a nice smooth Instagram worthy look and you can end up being the hottest kid on the block. All you have to do is follow these few steps on a regular basis to get rid of your strawberry legs. So here is my routine for smooth legs that are strawberry free. So the first thing we're gonna start off doing is exfoliating. And I am using this spin brush that I got, I think a few months ago and I've been using it constantly. And I love this because you can remove the head and replace it with different heads. And this head that I'm using is for the body specifically. So I like to exfoliate with this, but you can also use scrubs as an exfoliator. I just think this is a cheaper option. And then after you exfoliate, you wanna condition your legs and hydrate them while you're in the shower to prepare them for step three, which is shaving. And I like to use men's razors because I feel like they work better and you don't have the pink luxury tax on them. So you're just going to shave, making sure that whatever razor you use is not not dull and they recommend shaving downward but I feel like that doesn't help so I shave regularly and then you want to use chemical exfoliants so this is really important to find something with AHAs or BHAs which will help to exfoliate outside of the shower after the physical exfoliation so I'm using this scrub exfoliant chemical thing by Tarte it smells 
disgusting, but it does a really good job of deep cleansing the pores. And you can also use this on the face. It has lactic acid, which really helps with exfoliation. And then the last step is to make sure you hydrate because that is a very big cause of having trouble your legs is having dry skin and dead cells going into your pores. So make sure to hydrate, you don't wanna be ashy, and you'll be all good. So those are all my hacks for how to get rid of strawberry legs. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and let me know if these type of videos are things that you guys wanna see, and I will see you guys next time. <laughs> Bye guys. My contour's still on fleek, my highlight's still there. And yeah, this is the same exact makeup that I had on when I was filming my intro to this video. But this is what my makeup looks like afterwards. The only difference is my lip because I took off my liquid lipstick before coming to the gym because I didn't want people to be like, ooh, who she thinks she is. But here it is, the hacks in action.